Hey, what's up, fellas? How you doing? Man, it's Anelli here. Hey, what's going on, guys? How we doing? Man, it's Anelli here. Today, we're looking at Matt Carpenter's swing. Um, obviously, having a really good year. He's been a really good hitter for a long time. Not a huge guy, but hitting a ton of home runs this year. Has a lot of power. Um, hits for a good average. He's just an all-around really, really good, good hitter. And I've been asked a lot from people, you know, what is it in his swing? What do you see? So I'm not going to break down his entire swing, but I'm going to point out a couple of things that stand out to me when I watch him. So we have two views here. We have one um, side view at his chest and then one right here looking at his, his back. And the things that really stand out to me with Carpenter are a couple of things. I think more than a lot of players in the league, he really stays, you know, it, he's got a lot of weight. When I watch him, when he moves, when he strides and lands, you know, he's really around this back leg right here, and he, he's back, right? So he's not getting very forward into that lead leg. He does move. He moves himself. So, again, if you kind of put this line here, you know, he's going to move forward, but he's not jumping to his lead leg, right? So he really, when he moves, he stays, you know, we talk a lot about trying to stay in the back hip, and he really does a good job of staying in his back hip and not getting, not shifting to his front side too early. All right, so that's the first thing. And what that kind of, what that does is it starts to set up this really, really deep path to the ball. So when he launches his swing, more than most hitters that I watch, he gets into the zone really, really early, and he has a really deep turn. So his bat is entering the zone way, way back here. All right? And when you stay in that back hip and you don't get too far forward and then you launch the upper body back, that's what really allows you to create that deep path, to get in the zone early, to stay in the zone for a really long time. Okay, So he stays in this back hip. And then when he launches, if you watch him right here, when he says go right here, you're going to see, if you watch his name on the back of his shirt, you're going to see this R right here from the front shoulder is going to work up and back. If you watch the C on the back shoulder, it's going to work under. Right, So you're going to really see his name, obviously, on an angle like this. So everything is launched back right his upper body is going this way his, his his back shoulder is working down and under his lead shoulder is working up and back and so now he's able to enter the zone really really deep you can see his back kind of laid back right there see the same thing from this angle so the lead shoulder is working up and back rear shoulder is working under when you do that again it gets blurred out a little bit here but you're able to work in the zone earlier and when you're able to work in the zone earlier, you're able to get the bat to work on path for a longer period of time. You're able to to hit the ball in the slight up swing. Right? So he's not he's not trying to fight to keep this back shoulder up and swing down at the ball. He's letting this work under and that work up and back so that he can get on path early. You can see right here how the swing is working up through the ball. So the deeper we're able to create this path, the deeper, the earlier we're able to get in the zone. Again, your timing doesn't have to be as perfect. If you're getting in the zone, you know, if you're getting in the zone back here, well, then if you're a little bit late on the ball, you can still make contact. You can make contact along all these different pitch points. Right, so our timing doesn't have to be as perfect because we're in the zone. If you're not in the zone, right, if the pitch is be if the pitch is like that, it might be a little bit too. Let's see, if that's the pitch coming in, and I'm swinging too much down through the ball, well, now all of a sudden I have to be really perfect. I have a small window to to impact that ball. And so I can't be late and I can't be early. I have to really be on time. And it's hard to be on time consistently all the time just because hitting.
hitting is tough, right? You don't know the pitch speed coming in. And so you're doing all you can to be able to read that. But if you have a swing that's going to be on path with the ball for a longer period of time, you're naturally going to be able to square that thing up more often than if you're not on path. So that's the whole idea. When I watch Carpenter, it's what I really see. I really see a, a deep path created by, again, staying in that back hip and not getting too far forward and then launching back, launching the upper body back. So again, we talk about this in a bunch of our videos, but I wanted to show Matt Carpenter doing it because he, you know, he's got such a nice swing. He's such a consistent hitter. He hits for power. He hits for average. He, he does everything. So uh, let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel. Share the video with all your friends. Um, in the description box below, we've got a deal going on with Plate Crate. If you click on the link, type in Antonelli, you'll get 50% off your first Plate Crate. Also have a link to our Patreon page where you can help support the channel. We'd really appreciate that. Uh, we also have a bunch of other stuff in the description box, so definitely check all that out. And that's all I got, guys. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it, and we'll talk to you later.